Okay. So now we're looking at form 1096. So business owner, uh, I'm talking to you, you're the filer. If you honestly had like four or five contractors that you worked with during the year and all five of those contractors made over $600 from you, let's say four of them made more than 600 and one didn't, you would be filling out four forms uh, someone who makes 600 or less does not get a 1099. But now if you have four of them, this is where you're going to put it. So you put the filer's name, address, the person to contract contact, which is you, your telephone number, your email address, fax number. And then in box one, you put your ID number or your social security number, depending on what your business ID is. And then number of forms. So if you sent out four 1099s in line three, you're going to put four forms. Normally there will be no federal income tax withheld. So you would put a zero in number four. In number five, you would add up the whatever amount of 1099s you're sending out. You would add them all up together, put that amount there in box five. And then you go down and you mark the box 1099 NEC. And that's where it's box 71. Is that what the box says, Joe? 71. And that's what you X. So uh, you're the payer. You're the person to contact unless your bookkeeper is the person to contact. Telephone number, email, fax, your tax ID number or social security number, the number of forms, whether it's four or 10 or 12, add them all up. And in number five is where you put the total and then you mark box 71, 1099NEC. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of 1099s there, but I'm only addressing the ones that are going to independent contractors and you're issuing 1099s. The rest of those uh, are for another time and place. So, um, but anyway, this is the form, that red form that has to go with the red copies of the 1099s. If I were you, I would order them always early um, in December for the year. Um, a lot of the office companies like Staples carry them. You can go online and order them and get them in and uh, even buy the envelopes because they're an odd size. They're really odd size. So you'd like to get a 1099 envelope that fits those darn forms. So if you have any other questions, please let us know and we can go over these forms again. But this is the form that accompanies the 1099s. And remember, uh, business owners, you have to send the government the red copies. Remember you heard that here?